This video will focus on adding a two-digit add-in plus a one-digit add-in using base 10 blocks when you're having to regroup. Now, uh, there is a video earlier where you had a two-digit add-in plus a one-digit add-in, but you didn't end up having to make a group of 10, so you didn't have to regroup. But here we're gonna have to regroup because we're gonna end up with um, 10 or more ones. All right, so like we said before, I like starting off with representing the largest add-in. So you can see I have two 10s and seven ones. So 27 was decomposed into two tens, which is 20, and seven ones. And when I'm representing my ones, I like to be able to kind of put them in a 10 frame because students have worked with that since kindergarten and that will help them quickly see a group of 10. So I kind of organize mine this way. Um, so now I want to add, and when we add, we combine or join. So I'm going to add five ones. So I add one, two, three, and you can see I made a group of 10, four, five, all right? So I can see that this now makes a group of 10. So what I want to do is I want to take that group of 10 and I want to exchange it here for a 10, kind of a 10 rod, um, and students have been working on that 10-ness and making 10 and understanding what makes 10 uh, since earlier in the year. So I'm going to kind of take these and realize I'm going to exchange those 10 ones for a 10 and put it on my 10 side. So now you can see that my sum is 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. So 27 plus five equals 32. Now, another way that you can look at this is, um, we talked about in another video earlier, is using a 10 frame to kind of help keep it organized. And you can see that I have um, 27, again, knowing that this is five, six, seven. Students should be able to look at that and know five, and then that that's uh, five and two more is seven. I'm three away from 10 if you wanted to ask some uh, different questions or ask your own self. So I've got 27 represented, and I'm gonna add five ones. So one, two, three. And so I can see I've got a, I've made a group of 10, but I still haven't finished adding all my five ones. So four, five. So then I can think once again that I can see that group of 10 and I need to exchange it for this 10. So I'm going to kind of trade those out, put this 10 over here. And then once again, I can see that I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. So my sum is uh, 32, 27 plus five equals 32. Some students may be able to realize, and this is a push in it some, but some of you may realize this. So you might can challenge yourself that if I have the number 27 plus five, okay? I can realize if I can think about 30 and realize that I am three away from 30, I can take this five and I can decompose it into a three and a two. And then I know that 27 plus three is 30. And then 30 plus two, if I count up 31, 32 would be 32. If you want to give yourself a challenge, try some, uh, try adding some numbers like that, but it's definitely okay to stick with the base 10 blocks and drawings. We do not want to be lining numbers up under each other and um, regrouping. So we either wanna use our base 10 blocks, we can use um, the number line and some other strategies that you will learn. Thank you.